hello and welcome back uh, so in this uh, portion of the tutorial we are going to uh, work on the bullet and uh, and the shooting mechanism so uh, we are going to create a new empty scene uh, it's going to be a 3d uh, scene and we're going to call it bullet so we are going to uh, give it an a mesh instance a child node and it's going to be uh, a sphere mesh so we are going to uh, scale it down to say 0.25 and we are going to create uh, another child node of area 3d so what area 3d does is uh, it detects uh, uh, collisions between between objects so we are going to use it in future tutorials. We are going to set it up for now. Uh, so the area 3D needs a uh, collision shape 3D and it's going to be a sphere, just like the mesh. Uh, let's scale it down also, 0.25, just like the mesh instance. And let's save it. So uh, the bullet is actually uh, not a uh, standard scene. It's actually a prefab that we are going to instantiate. So uh, let's create a new folder called prefabs. And let's save our bullet there. So uh, let's attach a script to the bullet. Uh, let's put it in the scripts. So uh, let's export uh, the first uh, variable here, which is the bullet speed. Of type float, of course. It's going to be a, a normal variable called bullet direction. Of type vector we want our bullet to move along the, the set direction so we're going to say position plus equals bullet direction times sp speed bullet speed times delta so uh, the reason why we're, we're multiplying by delta here is because uh, we need our uh, the speed of our bullet to be frame rate independent so whether we have uh, a 5 fps or 60 fps uh, the speed of our bullet will be the same uh, if we didn't have delta here the uh, the speed of the bullet is going to vary with uh, with the with the frame rate and we don't want that so let's save and let's go back to the main scene uh, let's go to the player a player weapon and let's give it a child node of node 3d let's call it shoot position position and uh, let's place it close to the gun barrel so as close as possible something like this nice and let's uh, create a script for our weapon so let's uh, let's attach a script to our weapon scripts create so uh, first of all we're going to need the a bullet prefab itself so we're going to say bullet prefab prefab of type packet scene we are also going to need a export what else are we going to need we're going to need the root 
a root node of the scene so we're going to say root node of node 3d let's assign the root node here and let's assign our bullet prefab here so make sure to assign the bullet prefab from the uh, from the project files of course not from from the scene or something make sure it's from the file system uh, so another thing we are going to go to project project settings uh, input map we're going to create a new action called shoot uh, let's uh, click here on the left mouse button because we want to get it and okay so now our shoot action is uh, paired with the uh, left mouse button and let's close so here we are going to check for input dot uh, is action pressed not just pressed or just released so we want is action pressed so while we are uh, pressing on the mouse button we want to shoot and let's put our shoot action here let's create a bullet uh, it will be created out of the bullet prefab dot instantiate so uh, we want our bullet to be a child of the root scene so we are going to say root uh, root node i'm sorry so we are going to say root node dot add child and it's going to be the bullet itself uh, another thing is we need to export export the uh, shooting position so we will get it by doing this shoot for position and it's going to be of type node 3d we could also get it like this uh, like a shoot position but I would rather just put it on an exported variable for now so uh, let's assign it here and let's say bullet dot position is going to equal shoot position dot a global position so not just position because uh, uh, position alone is going to give us the local uh, position relative to the player uh, and we don't want that we want the global position of, of uh, the shooting position so another thing is bullet dot bullet direction this is the variable that we created earlier in the bullet script uh, we are going to set it now so we are going to say uh, bullet direction equals to minus get global transform dot basis dot z so uh, we are going to get the uh, forward direction uh, that is facing the uh, weapon uh, and we want our bullet to go straight in that direction so what do we do now uh, I think we can test it now so uh, everything is set up yep so the bullets are uh, instantiating but we forgot to set their uh, default speed so let's say here 15 and it is shooting fantastic so uh, a performance issue here is that the bullets are going to go on forever uh, in the scene and uh, they will never be destroyed and we don't want that because uh, Godot is going to keep uh, uh, is going to keep uh, keeping track of them and uh, that will uh, over time uh, compound and we don't want that so let's close here uh, let's add a child node of timer and let's go to the ready function so 
what we're going to do here is we're going to get the timer itself and we're going to say connect uh, we are going to connect the timeout signal uh, uh, that is uh, emitted by the uh, timer when uh, it, it runs out and we are going to hook it up to the uh, q3 function so q3 actually means uh, destroy the uh, bullet and that's what we're going to do after the timer runs out now let's give the timer come on let's give the timer uh, a wait time of uh, say one second and let's start the timer of course all of this is at the ready function uh, what else so i think that's good let's see you see now our bullets are being destroyed uh, maybe one second is a bit too short so uh, let's put it back to let's put it to say five and that's about it for the timer uh, another thing uh, we want to do is we want so we don't want our uh, bullet uh, our bullets to be uh, at this rapid rate we want uh, to control it actually so we're going to go to uh, our weapon script so let's close the bullet and let's go to, to the weapon script and we are going to create uh, an exported variable of uh, say shoot shoot rate and it's going to be of type float we're going to create a new very another variable called shoot timer and it's going to be of type float also so we're going to check here if shoot uh, timer is smaller is smaller than shoot rate so we're going to say shoot timer plus equals delta here in the action pressed we're going to check for another condition that is uh, and shoot timer is bigger or equal than shoot rate and as soon as we spawn our bullet we are going to say shoot timer equals zero so we're going to reset it so if we launch here uh, the results are going to be the same because we did not set uh, our shooting rate in the editor so we we're going to go here and say 0.25 so what this means is that we're going to uh, spawn uh, four bullets each second let's launch again and it works great maybe 0.5 is a little too low say uh, 0.1 is good and that's good enough I think Uh, so, uh, in the next uh, videos where we, we will be creating our enemies, uh, we will be giving them uh, health points and we will be killing them as soon as uh, their health runs out.